August. COVID vaccination numbers here continue to rise, but health officials warn we're not done yet. And as spikes continue to hit other countries, international travel, especially for those not yet vaccinated, is still risky. KTTC's Sarah Gannon is in our studio with more details on this. Sarah? Well, Tom and Caitlin, one of the main concerns health officials have with travel, especially internationally, is the possible spreading of different COVID-19 variants. Even as we make progress in vaccination in places like Minnesota, there is still a lot of virus circulating globally. The CDC and health experts continue to discourage international travel, especially for unvaccinated people. The unfortunate pattern we've seen is that variants developing elsewhere in the world tend to spread to new locations when people travel. And then these variants gain a foothold in our communities. In the last week, the Minnesota Department of Health has identified 65 cases of the P1 Brazilian variant, 88 cases of the B1351 South African variant, and six cases of the B1651 variant found in India. MDH reports nearly a quarter of the people interviewed about each variant reported traveling internationally. These travel-associated cases underscore the reality and risk of travel, especially international travel, during a global pandemic. And despite being a popular travel destination for many in the upper Midwest, MDH says Mexico remains a high-risk location. The virus is still out there circulating and mutating. And to go back to the forest fire metaphor that we've used before, in many parts of the world, it is burning hotter than it is here. That makes it very important to be cautious and aware before traveling. Current outbreak, the current outbreak situation in, in India starting today, travel restrictions from India to the United States are in place. Tom and Caitlin, back to you. Thank you, 